Hi, I'm Evan of Personas, and today we're going to talk about utilizing the CDL series loudspeakers in the marching arts. The CDL series offers a scalable and wider coverage solution for those looking for the ultimate coverage. To dive into the specs, the CDL 12 features 120 degrees of width as well as 20 degrees of vertical coverage per box. Additionally, we have the CDL 18S subwoofer for your extended low frequencies. Our suggested marching arts system contains a CDL 18S subwoofer as well as two of the CDL 12 top boxes. This gives you 40 degrees of vertical coverage as well as the sub. To ground stack the CDLs for the marching arts, we're going to first place the CDL 12 over the CDL 18S. You want to line up everything, remove the pin from the top of the subwoofer, flip the tab up, make sure everything's aligned here, then insert the pin. You may need to hold the handle of the CDL-12 when rigging to ensure you get a nice even slot. Then flip the pin up into the clip and you're all set. You will then repeat the same process when adding a second CDL-12. On the back of the CDLs, we're first going to insert our supplied PowerCon cable. There's also an additional PowerCon output for creating jumpers to additional cabinets. We're then going to power the speaker on and it will go through a brief boot up sequence. Now that the speaker is booted up, let's go over the top of the back panel. We have our XLR input, an XLR output for daisy chaining. We also have a network connection that is both for works control or Dante networked audio. P1 and P2's indicators are set up for custom presets for the boxes. P1 is for when you're using one CDL12, P2 is for when you're using two CDL12s. For anything beyond two CDL12s, you'll want to use the included works control DSP software. We also have a 90 hertz high pass filter that we can put in and out. And we also have temperature, signal, and different metering on the back. The last indicator is saying that we have a network connection. For the CDL 18S subwoofer, the boot up sequence will remain the same. The very top of the back panel the XLR input, output, and networking is the same. P1 is a standard 0 dB sub response, and P2 is going to be for applications where you need a little bit more boost out of your subwoofers. You also have a phase and all the other indications that are on the CDL12. For more information on the CDL series loudspeakers, visit personas.com.